Hey there, I just want to say thank you, first of all, for allowing me to make this video for you. My name is Joelle, again, and I'm with Zoe SEO and Web Design. So the purpose of this video is to show you how to get found on Google and to bring in those customers and ultimately that revenue. So generally, I would make these videos for businesses that already have websites, and I show them how to rank to the first page of Google with their website. Having an easy to navigate, easy to find website is going to bring you more leads, way more than Yelp. Yelp is just a directory, and when people are searching for, say, an electrician in Los Angeles, they're going to bypass Yelp and go straight for a legitimate website. So if you're interested in building a website but haven't found anyone to do it for you yet, I would be more than happy to build your website for you as well as get it as to get it ranking to that first page of Google. Now, when your website is being built, there are certain things that need to be done to make sure that it is optimized with the content. Many times we come across websites that have been built, but the person who built it did not know about search engine optimization, which is making sure they have the necessary content to be found for in Google. With those websites, we've had to go in and put the necessary content, but I'll get to that. It looks that maybe you, you are getting most of your leads from Yelp, and I see that you also have your GMB or your Google My Business listing. So I'm going to focus on what we would do if we were to build your website for you so that it is fully optimized. And this would be considered on-site optimization. And I'm also going to be talking about the other two components of search engine optimization, which is off-site optimization. These three main components that Google is looking for when a search is made is called content, backlinks, and citations. Now content would be all of your text on your website. So let me just take you to a competitor. This would, uh, this would include high volume search words implemented within your paragraphs, your titles, what your images are saved as. Your content is also relevant within your GMB. I'm going to show you here um, on your top web, uh, this is your top competitor's website. And what I'm going to do is take their website and put it in a search tool that we use called Arifs. This is what I would do for your website if you had one. This shows me the keywords that they have implemented within their content and what they're ranking for, and also how many backlinks that they have. It also shows me how many other websites they are connected to. You'll want to have more content or high volume search words than your competitor. So when we would be building your website, we would take a look at some of the search terms that they are using that are high volume search terms. We would also look for search terms in other competitors' websites, and we would want to implement these high volume keyword or key phrase search terms within your content. So your content is number one. Number two is backlinks. And now a backlink is when another website is linking to your website, driving traffic to you. This is really important. Google ranks your value on the authority that these other websites give you. Google wants to see a bunch of trustworthy companies vouching for your company. Now keep in mind though, they wanna see relevant links, which means it will give you a lot more power if you have uh, websites linking to you that relate to um, electrician or construction than say a Pizza Hut. So what you would wanna do is put a link on all these websites. Find out what these websites are that, that your, your competitor is linked to. And um, if they are good enough to get them to the top of Google, then they're good enough for you. Just visit all 25 of them and put a link or a few on each of them that links back to your homepage or your service page. Most of the time, you can just create a profile and add that link. If you build up your website 
and get the necessary content in there, have more websites linking to you than your competitor, you're going to outrank your competitors on Google search and you're going to be above Yelp. You're going to be the first one. So if you want to beat your competitor in Google, um, say Google ads, let's just go back to the search results page. This is electrician in, um, Redondo Beach. If you want to beat your competitor with Google Ads here, then you'll need to bid higher than your competitor. And if you want to beat your competitor through your GMB, then you're going to have more site. You're going to need to have more citations than your competitor. A citation is anywhere that your business's name, address, and phone number is listed in different directories. A directory is a website like Yelp. Yext, Yellow Pages, White Pages, Facebook, Angie's List, places that will allow you to list this information. So this is a quick overview. I tried to make it short and to the point. First of all, you'll want to get a fully optimized website up and running with all of your services, your service locations, the necessary content, images, so your company can be represented well on the internet. And so that you can also begin to make money from your website by bringing in those customers. So getting your website up and running, then you'll want to put your URL in more websites in your competitor. And lastly, you would want to put your name, address, and phone number of your business in as many directories, more directories than your top search competitor. If you do these three tips, you'll be found at the top of the search results of Google. Uh, but I recommend you get started as soon as possible, right? It does take time to implement all of this. And the sooner you get started, the sooner you'll start profiting from having a website. If you have any questions or would rather just have someone else handle this for you while you keep running your business, please feel free to give me a call. My number is at the bottom of the email. And if I'm not already working with another electrician in Redondo, then I would be more than happy to help you out. All I ask is that you please give me some feedback on this video. Tell me what you thought of it. And I thank you so much. I look forward to hearing from you.